Hey everyone, it's Eric and today we are going camping here on the channel because it's all about the Goose Creek Wilderness Collection that just recently launched. How many times have you been camping, Mom? Well, never, but I've heard about it. We'll be talking about that collection. There are 12 candles in the collection. I purchased 10 of the 12, so I didn't get all 12. The only two that I am missing are the Campfire Cuddle, which is Wool Blanket, Warm Amber, Cozy Vanilla, Cashmere, and Cedar. And Book by the Lake is Cool Lake Water, Summer Breeze, Lotus Blossom, and Sun Drenched Woods. I didn't pick up those two candles. Kind of wish I did now, but uh, they're still available, so I'll probably end up getting them. Anyways, I do believe right now their candles are $10.99 on the website. So let's go camping, you guys. The first candle up is the Skillet Blueberry Cobbler. This is your baked cobbler, warm blueberries, melted butter, vanilla ice cream, and sugar. You get a lot of that blueberry fragrance on this. Mm, some vanilla and some sugar. Really nice, nice blueberry fragrance. Very foody. So this one smells really good if you like your blueberries. So we got blueberry, skillet blueberry cobbler. And then next is the canteen hot cocoa. Really cute jar styles. It says let's explore on the mug. Just a really nice jar. It's milk chocolate, warm fudge, fluffy marshmallows, whipped cream, and vanilla. So this one, you get a lot of that chocolate. It's sweet. You get those, like, almost like those little dried marshmallows that you would find in, like, the um, Swiss Miss hot cocoa packets. Swiss Miss instant cocoa. That's pretty much what this smells like to me, is, like, the dried, powdered hot cocoa packets you can get. Your lady, oh. It smells so good. It kind of reminds me of being a kid. Yeah, I really like that one as well. Next up is Forest Pine Trees. I love these jar styles, you guys. They did such a nice job with this collection with these labels. Love the fox on here and the pine trees. This is your Forest Pine, Balsam, Green Leaves, Eucalyptus, and Cedar. And this one smells pretty much like you would expect a pine-scented candle to smell like. I get the pine and the cedar. Smells very similar to Fresh Balsam from Bath & Body Works. I feel like this is a kind of candle, it doesn't necessarily remind me of Christmas, but I'll probably wait till there's cooler evenings before I burn it. A lot of sap in here. Mm. <coughs> Looks great. A little full. A lot of sap. Smells really good though, you guys. And I do like my pine candles. That one smells good. Doesn't smell like pine cleaner to me. Just nice, fresh, woodsy pine scent. Next is Wilderness Adventure. I love the moose on the label for this one. It's white woods, frosted fir, evergreen sprigs, rose, birch, and patchouli. Now this smells very fresh to me. It smells soapy, a lot like zest bar soap or Irish spring, something like that. Yeah, it smells clean and fresh like a bar soap to me. You're not fully clean unless you're just fully clean. But I do like the scent on this candle. Yeah, I like that. It's a nice, nice scent, fresh and clean. Next, we have Fireside S'mores. Yes, please. And this is graham crackers, milk chocolate, fluffy marshmallows, and vanilla bean. So this one's a little bit different than the uh, Canteen Hot Cocoa because it has that graham cracker note in it with the chocolate. I like that. I like that they did that. They put a little of that graham cracker fragrance in there to kind of mix it up a bit. But you still get the vanilla, like a marshmallow fragrance with the chocolate, but they added that graham cracker. So another foodie fragrance. Smells, this one might be a little lighter though. It smells a little light to me. Is that a fact? And next we have Moonlit Slow Dance. I really like the label with the moon and just how they did that. Now, this one really sounded interesting to me because of the scent notes. You have vanilla whiskey, toasted marshmallow, warm sandalwood, cedarwood, and amber. And honestly, guys, I've, I've smelled all these candles a few times before getting on here to talk about them. Um, 
I don't like this candle. I'm just gonna tell you right now, I am not a fan of this fragrance. Uh-oh. <laughs> I really thought I would be because I like the, the scent notes that are listed, but for whatever reason, it's just not working for me. <sighs> no, um. <laughs> um. I could take the high road and say it just smells exotic, but, uh, you know, you guys watch this channel for the opinion, the honest opinions. Mm -mm. I don't know what it is about this candle, you guys, but honestly to me, and I know we all smell things differently, so I'm not trying to offend anybody out there that might like this candle, but to me, it smells like Bad B.O. where someone took some perfume or cologne and sprayed it on themselves to kind of cover up the B.O. smell. <laughs> That's what it smells like to me, you guys. No, no, no. Mm -mm. I just, I find that candle awful. Uh, it's probably in the top five most awful candles I've smelled this year, you guys. If, had I smelled that in a store, that would have been a hard pass. Yeah, that, <laughs> I would not have bought that candle. Now, like I said, you might have it and like it, and there's nothing wrong with that at all. It's just just my own opinion on it. But yeah, that is not something I, I'm not looking forward to trying that candle, you guys. I'll be honest. Uh, <laughs> next one is Biking Trail. This is Fresh Air, Mint Leaf, Eucalyptus, Fur Needles, and Summer Blooms. Oh, so much better. <laughs> it smells so good, you guys. If you like mint, there's a lot of mint in this candle. The mint really comes through in this candle. You get the uh, eucalyptus. I don't so much get the fur needles, but there is kind of like a fresh air note to this. This candle reminds me of something. So years ago, I was on a camping trip, and when I set up my tent, uh, the only place for me to set up my tent was on this bed of wild mint that was growing. And so... Uh, basically, my sleeping bag was on this bed of mint, and the whole night you could just smell all this wonderful mint with the cool night air. It was wonderful. <laughs> I slept like a baby, and this really reminds me of that, that wonderful fresh mint uh, fragrance. So this one, this one smells really good too, you guys. Next we have Gone Camping. And this is your crackling cedar wood, amber, musk, white woods, bergamot, and soft patchouli. So this, I don't really get the patchouli so much, but... And I honestly was hoping that there'd be more of that crackling cedar wood fragrance to come through. Like maybe some smokiness from it, but there's not. To me, it just smells kind of like a light soft cologne smell. It's very pretty. It's a very nice fragrance, but it's not at all what I was expecting this to smell like. I think it's just the musk and that white woods with the amber give it just a uh, kind of a, just like I said, a light cologne fragrance to it. It's nice. It, it smells nice, you guys. But like I said, it's just different than what I thought it would be. Next we have Cabin Getaway. Honey, that's bigger than our honeymoon camp. Yeah, we call it Pilloon's Nest. Yeah. Now, you folks, enjoy your stay. Yeah, yeah. thanks. Good. Thank you very much. How could you not in a place like this? Uh, you could get the shits from the well water. Oh, what did he say? Uh, I missed it. This is your cedarwood, sage, lemon peel, eucalyptus, fir needles, and oak wood. Honestly, you guys, this one's very, very light. It smells very light. I have a feeling it have a light throw. You get a little of the sage. And I think what I'm detecting is the oak wood. But I don't pick up the cedar, the lemon peel, the eucalyptus. No, it's not coming through. It's just a little sage and oak wood smell to me. It's slightly like a light musk in there. Just a very light, almost perfume cologne smell to it. Uh, I was really hoping for more of the cedar wood and that lemon peel and fir needles to come through. It sounded like a really neat candle because I love those fragrances, but I really don't detect it on cold. You know, it might be totally different once we burn it. And then the last one is Stories by the Campfire. 
This is toasted marshmallow, creamy caramel, pistachio cream, and vanilla bean. This is a very familiar fragrance to me, you guys. This smells almost identical to Bath & Body Works Marshmallow Fireside. Without the fireside. <laughs> you get all the marshmallow in there. That vanilla. It smells really, really close, though, to Marshmallow Fireside. And I just love this scent. Ugh. I'm ready for fall candles, you guys. I am. Isn't that kind of Russian things? I know it's not even summer yet, technically, but, uh, you know, fall candles are right around the corner. So this is a nice candle to have to kind of segue me to the fall candles. I know I will enjoy this candle. So that is the Wilderness Collection from Goose Creek, minus two of the candles, of course. Please leave comments down below if you have any of these candles and what you think of them. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.